The smell of death fills the air under this bridge. These are some of the victims of Mozambique's hidden conflict. This is near Gorongosa in Sefala province. No one's claimed responsibility. This bridge is on quite a busy highway and it seems quite obvious that someone has stopped on the bridge and then dumped the bodies over the side. They were found about three weeks ago and since then someone else has perhaps come and thrown soil and dirt over them, some sand to try and cover them up. We don't know who they are, how they died or were killed and why they're here. This man found them on his way to the river to pan for gold. He says there were 21 bodies in total in two locations. We're afraid because we don't know when something like that could happen to us and our families. Another witness took photos. There are reports of another such site. The killings are believed to be connected to a military crackdown on a low-level insurgency by former liberation movement Renamo. Some allege the military has committed abuses. Renamo and the governing Frelimo party fought a civil war that ended with a peace deal in 1992, but renewed violence led to this accord two years ago and an awkward hug between former foes. They didn't hold hands long. Last year, Renamo leader Afonso Tlacama went into hiding in the mountains of Gorongosa, claiming the last election was rigged. Soon after, fighters believed to be linked to him started shooting at cars, killing civilians. We are talking about people dying. We are talking about guns, and who has guns are the two parties. So we have to call those two parties and let them understand that the future of the country doesn't belong only in two hands. The road into Gorongosa is monitored, and they guard convoys on the highways that are ambush hotspots. It's dangerous because uh, if, if, if they want to attack, they can attack everyone. The security situation means Jude can't get her sick baby to a healer quickly. We have a problem. We can't travel quickly because we have to wait for the convoy. It's too dangerous otherwise. She leaves hoping her convoy won't be attacked. These are uncertain times in Mozambique. Former Civil War enemies are fighting again. Innocent civilians are caught in the crossfire and fear has taken hold. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Gorongosa, Mozambique.